I like it. These are almost exercises I think I could do. Right? Not all of us want to hit the gym. We have got Alicia Chirac here. She's going to show us how to work out from the comfort of your living room right now, wherever you're watching from, except for a car. Don't watch us and drive. Okay. And, and Jill is joining us as Alicia well. Thank you very much both for uh, giving us some great tips as we get into the new year and get ready. First things first, we don't need much. All we need is? These are hip circles, and okay. they're becoming increasingly popular um, in the fitness industry. You see a lot on social media now. Why they're excellent is they're portable, they can fit in your pocket. I travel with mine everywhere, mm -hmm. but they're excellent for a lot of people that don't have time to go to the gym, they can't get to the gym, or quite frankly, this time of year, it's intimidating. You walk mm. into a gym, they're packed, you don't know what they're doing. This gives people an effective at-home workout, adding resistance without having used any other equipment, and um, they can be modified for every level. Okay. All right, I like that. Let's for get every level. started. So Jill's going to start with a demonstration here. Now, this one I like to always start off with. So. One thing I want to start before we get into this exercise here mm -hmm. is when a lot of people at any fitness level work their leg muscles, they don't properly activate their glutes. So if they're trying to target the glute area, which is a lot of people want to build for, you know, not only aesthetics, but functionality to make every day um, well, they're important. work easier. Yeah, they're so you need important your glutes. for everything you do, right? But what happens is if you're not activating your glute muscles, some people have what's called sleepy butt syndrome. <laughs> You're activating other leg muscles instead of your glutes. You're, you're, you're basically recruiting the muscles that you don't want to target. They get neglected. So this helps build the glute muscle, but it also helps activate them. So even if you're going to the gym to do a leg workout, it's great to throw in a set of 15 of these to kind of really warm up the area. How do you know when you're warming, like you're actually doing it right? So what you want to do is you want to push through the heels, and you want to keep your core tight and engaged, and you want to squeeze the top. And when you start, when you feel that squeeze, it's going to turn on your glute muscles. Like okay. You, so that's all you do. So this is great for building and activating the glute muscles. Let's modify this for some of us who can't do that. So we're going to do the don we're going to do the donkey okay. kick next. So this is another great glute building muscle. I'm going to give you both this band. Okay. Okay. This okay. One? Now yeah. there's three sizes here, so there's three different tensions. So I'm going to give you guys the black one. So that is. <laughs> what you do? Let's try it. You know, just, oh gosh. Here because, we go. because you're just starting out using these. Where do we place the this? So just, you you adjust your tension based on the, on the range of motion you need, but also your your um, your okay. level. So Jill's going to do the board vision on the floor. So you're getting all you're getting on all fours, and you're basically you're doing a kickback. These are called a donkey kick. So and again, you're just activating your glute muscle. And so we were talking. I've got a replacement, a knee replacement. I yeah. can't get down on hard ground or anything like that. I need padding. So there's alternatives. Yeah. You can do, so right? you can hang onto the wall, and you're mm -hmm. just basically kicking back. And what you want to do is you really want to feel that squeeze and yeah. the back right. of the glute, your posture. You always want to keep your core engaged at all times. How many? So reps? you really want you to feel that you, you really yeah. want to feel that burn. Alicia, how many reps? Um, I would suggest, you know, three <laughs> more, sets than, of three, more than one. Three sets of ten per leg. We don't have to do that right now, okay. but uh, yeah. But you really want to feel that. You'll you'll really start feeling that activation in there. Okay. But again, Jill's doing the advanced version on the floor, but you can modify it, you know, for any level. So standing, and obviously, as you're saying, you both have knee issues. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, protecting your knees. Okay. And always straight up. If you're doing it standing. Yeah. You're trying to try back. and yeah, exactly. Just make sure you, that your your core is engaged because that's going to also protect your lower back. Okay. So. Jill is going to jump now into a more advanced full body exercise, and this goes into the whole home body workout. We're not done yet. So this We're is a plank. You won't have to do this one. This is a plank, um, basically with the band above your knees, and this is requiring you to keep your legs engaged the entire time. So you're basically firing all your muscles up, and she's keeping your core tight. So this is a plank, basically pushing out against here again to activate all these leg muscles. Then Jill is going to go up, oh. do a push up. Next level. Nice. Back up and, and go back down to the plank and hold Beautiful. for 10 seconds. Okay, time to bring so up Frank the plank, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have Frankie try it. this one. Yeah, we'll try that. And, and uh, with planks, I know it's a people, for you, people Frank. do planks often wrong. Yes. They usually stick their butt too high. Yeah, too butt yeah. too high or they sink too low. You want to be straight yeah, across. Yeah, so you want to look like a plank. Yeah, yeah you want to make sure you're also not um, rounding your shoulders too much. How so, do you so. get to that point? You, do you tuck in your tummy? So make sure you're not arching your back. Yeah, exactly. You want to try to nice keep it, spring. You want to, you're keeping your core tight, and you're, you, you should naturally keep your spine neutral. Keep talking. We'll keep so talking. So now you're, now you're going to go. Now you're going to go up into a push up and come down. Only ten nice. more. That's for us now. He was ready to do ten more. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's in show off mode. <laughs> Excellent. Now for Next someone who can do. Next level, Frank. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're gonna hurt yourself, He's strong. Big. You're strong. For someone who can't do a full push-up, this can be modified by doing a push-up on the knees. Oh, so yeah. they basically yep. drop down to the knees, do it a, a push-up on the knees, and then go back into the plank. And it just makes it easier for someone who again can't do a full push-up. And when do you know to, to work to, to go back from the knees to a full plank? Like, how long should you have to do that for before you should be able to do a full plank? 
I mean a full push-up. Yeah, like well, a full push-up. Someone sorry, basically, full push it's just something that someone basically builds up to you. Like, you know, you know when you're going up to a next level of weight and that type of thing. By the so, way, we brought Frank in for that because we know our limits and we stay within it. So now we're going to do another one more. We're going to do three more. Uh, another one more. Jill, Jill is doing the banded monster walk, which is an excellent move, again, for strengthening the legs. It's great for cardio if you do a bunch of them. Dina is going to do a seated version of this. She's doing the seated um, yeah. hip abductor, hip, okay. hip abduction. So she's got the band above her knees, and she's basically just pushing right, out of the knees, and she's basically go. working her whole side glutes here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Again, this, the banded monster walk, can be done by um, going, you're going side to side. The deeper you go into your squat, okay. you're the, wrong the way more way. you're working. I know, I, when have I ever but gone the right have, way, though? If you, if you have knee <laughs> issues, going back in. if you have knee issues, you can stay yeah. more upright. But again, for more advanced people, you want to get right down how into that you squat. Want to do, like, how much of a stretch do you want to do a step? You want to feel, well... Basically, so you're you want pushing, to feel it. You want to be pushing against the band, so you're activating this side. I don't want to make the, break the band because I'm yeah. super strong, right? <laughs> I'm feeling this. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I can do that. that. <laughs> you get your heart rate the one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is a workout. Yeah. It's deceptive. Yeah. And how many would you do of these? Um, I would do three sets of 20 per pace. Roger, yeah, so you're basically, yeah. Okay, let's try this. Uh, can, can we try and do it in unison together? I mean, this can be modified. Too much. Okay, turn to the right, turn to the right Rog. Left. All right. One. Hey, we haven't started yet. One, One two, two, back over. Three. One, Look, Raji, two, we're coordinating. One, two, <laughs> One, two. One, two. Woo. This is good. Woo. I'm done. This is Holy good. cow. And this Woo. one can be done in any space, so you, whether you're in the gym or you have a smaller condo. You can just go side to side in your condo. You don't even have to have a lot of space to do these. And that is the beauty of doing these. It can be done anywhere. Um, as I said, I bring mine with me to the beach. I do on, on vacation. So it gets you, you know, get your workout in every day, but you don't have to go to the gym. Maybe yeah. you can't get to the gym with your kids. You don't want to go in the snow. So, so you can take idea. advantage of outside if you want to do it outside. You can yeah. sip your mojito. <laughs> 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 Doing your squats. Can you do these in a hammock? Hang on. Right? <laughs> I you haven't tried it, but I'll let you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alicia and Jill and Frankie. Do you want to try a plank crouchy or one a last plank? big finish? Yeah. Watch your knees. Oh, here we go, guys. Hey! There you go. Do the push up. One plank. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, listen for my okay. shoulders now. You ready? Now, is this right? Drop it, give me 20. Yeah, now? you're good. You're good. Yeah. Okay, here's where my shoulder okay. explodes. And now? Perfect. You're good. Now back up. Okay, that's enough. Now we can walk. <laughs> Raj, let's, let's uh, go uh, throw it away. Can we do that? <laughs> better than throwing up. <laughs> well, well done, guys. Okay, we'll be back with more BT right after this. Yeah. Yeah.